Oh, I understand. The Blues are honoring their vets. Mmm. We're doing the Star Spangled Anthem. I understand what you're saying. This town is freaking huge. Makes his blood boil when he loses a battle. Bro, you have one too many rookity. I was not trying to talk to you, but you're cute. I raise and I live with Rookity because I love them so much. I've got nothing to do with flying taxis. It's got everything to do with flying taxis. She's a liar. She's trying... She's Uber. The flying taxi is the government-assisted taxi service. She's Uber. Why, well, hello there, young man. You interested in weather? Sure. Well, then let me get started. If so oh, I know how weather works. I will take your gift, though, and it's a heat rock. Let me guess, you give me one of each. No, just the heat rock? Well, that's kind of rude. Why is your natty anthem about bombs? Because he wrote it while bombs were bursting in midair and flames through the air. I don't remember how it goes. I'm bad. The old gent of the Pokemon Center is quite a jack-of-all-trades, don't you think? He can make your Pokemon... Yes, he can. I'm guessing you were originally going to be the move deleter, but then they added him, and it made you worthless. Okay, so this is a dragon town. Is the next gym leader dragon? That seems broken. And I'm not ready. Although I have Appleton. Applin. Or Flapple. What the heck is his name? You should really visit Windrin, Winden sometimes. People from all the world gather there. Is this a market? Oh, this is a train station. Boo and Skip. They just booed at the end of the anthem? They did not boo Yeti. We clearly care. Oh, this is like a mall. We clearly care very much about our veterans. And to do so, at the end of the National Anthem, we replace Land of the Free and Home of the Brave with Land of the Free and Home of the Blues. And everybody in the whole stadium chants Blues instead of Brave. Because we love our veterans that much. Okay, Team Yell, I get it. I can't go that way. Jeezy peasy, allow me to explore. So much hand-holding, forcing me in the direction the game wants me to go. Ugh, I can't stand it. A dire hit. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, it's not my favorite thing we do. But, you know. <laughs> Welcome to the ancient city of Hammerlock. A city of great history, living and thriving within the castle walls that date back to the Middle Ages. That's cool, I guess. Mr. Chap, and I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Oh, it's Oleana. Yeti, don't look now. But she's standing. That's all she does, so she's standing. Good work, BD. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll have the problem you've been, that's been bothering you. Right, chairman? Oh, it's not just about me, it's for the future of the whole Gala region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars, we'll need powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion and those trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit it takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Beatty, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? What? Her cape is pointless. It's got a big cut in the back. I hope you were listening, Josh. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are attached even to your Dynamax veins. There's more to wishing stars than just making our Pokemons into giant, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a lesson on how the Gala region gets its energy. Oh, boy. Talks of infrastructure. My favorite part of a Pokemon game. More children's TV thoughts on Blue's Clues? Oh, it's this lady? Yeah, that's the lady, right? That's like Tottenham's God Save Our Gracious Spurs. Ooh, that's not... Yeah, that hurts. I don't want to... That's not good. Blue's Clues? No joke. No meme. If we're talking when I was like 3-4, was my number one favorite children's television show. I had a thinking chair. I had a handy-dandy notebook. I had a green striped shirt like Steve. One of my birthdays was Blue's Clues themed. We made a little a replica of the house and colored it with crayons. What else did I have? My parents, well, not my parents, they didn't love me. I'm just kidding. My grandma, who was willing to put more effort forth, uh, 
<laughs> used to cut out paw prints and hide them. She would come up with a riddle of some sort and she would hide three paw prints in the house and then I would have to solve the riddle. So for example, it would be like a paw print on the bed and a paw print on the coffee maker and a paw print on the toilet. And the solution to the riddle would be, I woke up, drank coffee and pooped. Just kidding, that's not a, they would be better than that because she's clever. But that's essentially what I would solve. It's Oleana. <laughs> oh, you had one too? Wasn't it the, we had like a floating thinking chair and it was the best. Not very comfortable, but I felt like Steve. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now have a look at my tablet. It's the brand new Google Pixel 3 tablet. Look, I've got all the information you need on it. See an easy to understand description of the energy plant. Complete with no legible text and hieroglyphics instead. Yes. First energy absorbed from Hamelock Stadium's tower. Then it's chain. I guarantee this tower is some sort of evil weapon. That he's charging and he's going to blow up the world. Then it's charged into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy resources such as electricity, national, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Wishing stars are fossil fuels. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move before Oleana decides to give me another earful. She does not look like the type of lady who could give an earful. Jersh, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Death Ray Tower? Mm-hmm. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Okay. Pokeball Man. Oh, this is probably the final gym. Power Plant. Yeah, this is probably the final gym. Hey there, oh, thanks for rolling by and have a chat with the ball guy. Please start... Please start flossing again. Floss. He doesn't floss anymore, he only flossed one time. That's a different Fortnite dance. It's perfect for high level teams, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't go in here. Yes, this is the, okay, this is the final gym. Cool. I kind of like, I, I gotta say, it's giving me, I think this is kind of like, um, the Unova map, but done better, if that makes sense. The Unova map was like a couple towns down here, and then you go up, and then a big circle that leads back to the main place but the main place wasn't that exciting of a hub it's just where the fourth gym was this is a better version of that map in my opinion you got two circles you've got beginning area connected by wild area wild area runs through the whole thing by the way then you have a circle of the first three gyms that takes you back to the entrance of the wild area that takes you to the next section that i'm gonna guess has you go in a oh this isn't a big circle one, two, three, and then four. So it's kind of a circle. And then I'm guessing this is Elite Four. Maybe? I don't know what that is, actually. Maybe Elite Four? I don't know. It's like two circles instead of one circle. Uh, I do think it's... Um, I do think it's better than the Unova map. Duck score, get out of here. They hate the troops, apparently. Come on. It's extremely rude. <laughs> don't tell uh, Maria that I said that. No, don't tell Maria that the duck scored, I should say. She'll be upset. Jer seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. I can't do a British accent anymore. But Hop, did something happen with him? He's really act acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately said, I'm so sorry, Lee. Might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle? He lost to that challenger beating. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps, but he's ne this guy's never lost. What does he know? But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You've got to think on why you was you lost, though. You might, you know, you that little brother of mine. I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Leon's shorts too short. At least he's got leggings under them. That helps. Blast, look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I said that you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here, Josh. He's the greatest rival I've got and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. 
He should still be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down that way. On the way to Route 6. Oh no. He winked. Why the cape was cut in the middle? The cut is so you can watch her leave. Mmm, not so livid's getting turned to the dark side. There you go. Whatever it takes, I suppose. Oh, hold on. I saw sparkles. Super repel. I'll take it. Um, I thought this was the vault. Further? It's further. Okay, we're not quite there yet. We're getting there. Aha. Hello. Please take me into the vault, Master Skyrim. I don't know what your outfit is, but I think I hate it. You've got a hoodie that's got teeth on it, but you don't actually wear the hood. You wear a, a bad hat on top instead. I don't like it. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion, let's see. What's your name again? And that's about the time she walked it. Get off your phone. All right, Jersh. And if Leon himself recognizes your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. And uh, all the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Makes him look chunky. A little chunky. The hoodie's weird. Like, I'm fine with, like, the dragon belly middle of it. I think it's the hat that ruins the whole thing. I'll even spare you one of my league. Wow, so kind of you. These are your treasures? This is, like, a four-year-old's trophy room. No offense. Oh, there's more. Okay. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's those stairs up there. I thought it was these sad spelling bee trophies in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need permission. If I just got it, you scumbag. Go ahead and stare at the wall some more, loser. Okay, here we go. Up the vault. The hat is terrible. Thank you. Yo, verticality. A little verticality in my Pokemon games, huh? More awful TMs in my Pokemon games, huh? Okay, I still want to beat one more gym badge. Nothing over there, nothing over there. Secret gated block up. It's two, baby? Okay, just throw in the... <gasps> that lighting, though. That that Sonya lighting, though. Oh, hello. Yeti instantly closes his laptop with the Ducks game on and says, Hello, Sonya. Something just exploded upstairs. Hopefully Maria's okay. So, oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there's still treasured tapestries th that they can tell us of. This vault sucks. There's nothing in here but pitches. Of two youths. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two beloved... The two bewildered youths, or beloved youths. The youths looking on at a sword and shield as they stop the disaster. Prediction. These two boys were transformed into the legendaries of the sword and the shield. The two youths being crowned. Call them anything else than youths. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? There's two heroes? Bang on. Well, if you insist, the statue that in the hotel in Modestoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? I'm sorry, not so livid, you did not get a hair twirl, but you got a chin touch. How's a chin touch? Pretty close? I hope no one told her what I've been saying about Alina. Instantly, you see Sonya like... See you, Olina. Poof. Get out of here. Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. <laughs> I mean, if there's anything else you'd like to bounce. Okay, I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to go research the tapestries a tad more. But you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you. So take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Two revives. Mega Gia. All right, Sonya, I'm going to go bang on, and uh, I will talk to you later. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next town, probably. 
since uh, you're my favorite rival. Even though we I hope we get to end the game with a battle with Sonya. That's what I want. And by battle, I ain't talking Pokemon. Hello, sir. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of Galar Region's past. I suppose if we've, we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Jersh. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stow on side. What British town's name is a pun of stow on side? Or is stow on side a pun of? Because I don't really understand it. Let me go to the next area, please. Route 6, what do we got here? Where are we at? Route 6 looks like it's a desert. I see some large diglets. Route 6, what we got? New pokies? New pokies to somehow try to make room for on the team? Oh, <gasps> new pokey! Snake boy! Sad Ekans! Silly Cobra! What a cute Silly Cobra! Silicone Cobra, Silicobra. Okay, I got it. Just look at those adorable eyes. He a snack? He's a slithery snack. He's got a slither and slither and snack. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. It's Beanie! Again, it's just an actually. Hello there, if I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course it'd be our pleasure. That thing makes you uncomfy? The snake or the old lady? Oh, hey, Jers, heading to Stow on side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you let us through. No, nah, you kids are way too loud. You can't be letting you through. I would particularly not find of kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silly Cobra's sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Jers? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge on Stow on side. I'll battle them. Sit back, Hop. I heard you got dunked on. Let me take care of them. You? Yeah, that's the spirit. You throw away too noise, you don't want to wake up Silly Cobra now, do you? I swear, kids, these days, we got no choice, we gotta send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silly Cobra. <laughs> Did you know that Silly Cobra back backwards is Arbosilus? Wow, they're getting better with their puns, I gotta say. He's right. Yeti's favorite backwards is Muck. Mine is Pikachu, aka... Ook. Ookek. Ip. Ookek. Ip. It sounds like I'm having a stroke, but it's fun to say, so. Yikes! Okay, so. We're very underleveled <laughs> as a result of, um. Putting a bunch of low level Pokemon on the team. Makes sense. Um. I'm a little nervous, and we're also about to yeet Dotler off the team. Okay. We're about to yeet Dotler off the team as well. Let's go ahead and set up a Reflect. We're going to yeet Dotler off the team as soon as he evolves at level 30 and add on our Firebug boy. So we might want to go hang out in the wild area for a bit. Maybe just get everybody up a little bit because I feel like we're about to have a little bit of trouble. Trouble, 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 man. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Maybe I'll just go back right now. I don't really want to, because, like, I feel like I can go hang out in the wild area on my own time. Like, I can go do that with no spoilers, unless I catch another shiny. That would be the only cool thing you guys would miss out on. But other than that, I kind of feel like I can go do the wild area off stream, you know? Maybe we won't do another gym badge today. This game, what the heck are people talking about? This game is too fast. We've now, after today... So we'll probably play for another 30 minutes or so. I will have finished. I will have been playing for 11-ish hours and have three gym badges. That's a long game, dude. What are you talking about? Unless they just, unless it's a trick and they just give me the last four right on the spot. That's a long game. I got a bad feeling this Linoon is going to kill me, so I'm going to swap out. I'm going to swap out right now into Surfetched, who can take on this Lionoon a little bit better. Just a little bit better. We'll hit you with a first impression, I think. You're going to go for Night Slash. I eat it up. I didn't really eat it up. It was a crit is why. And, my, and that was with the Reflect. Okay. 
First impression, do a bunch of damage for me. Yeet. Oh my goodness. Maybe you should be a real gamer and only use starter and skip all the- That's true. Not even use the starter. As soon as you get access to the wild area, you gotta go and find the highest level Pokemon you can and just catch level 50 right off the bat and then just coast. That's how most- Haven't you ever seen the Pokemon enemy? That's how Ash does it. He just catches Mewtwo in episode 1 and does every single episode with the same Pokemon. That's the way Pokemon was meant to be enjoyed. A singular Pokemon experience. But I still want all the Pokemon in the game, by the way. I'm only going to use one for my entire playthrough so I can rush through it. But I want all the Pokemon in the game. Just in case you were wondering. I think I'll leave this to you, Jersh. I'll keep keep up the pace. Oh, he is the, he's like depressed. This is pretty sad. I don't really like seeing that. I don't really like Hop, but I don't really like seeing that either. So, that's unfortunate. Go on, Flapple. I know you can do it. I actually, if I'm being honest, have some doubts as to whether or not he can do it, but let's try. Acrobatics. Okay, that's annoying. Sand attack. Yo, I think Flapple is my new son. Sobble evolved into kind of a scary looking boy. I think Flapple is my new son. Another sand attack? I can't help but notice you're being extremely obnoxious, Liopard. What's the deal with that lady on the towel? I didn't see the towel. Show me the towel again. Oh, that's uh, Marnie. They love Marnie for some reason. I don't know why. The evil team in this game doesn't want to take over the world. They don't want to steal your Pokemon. Their real evil mission is cheering on a person. Not my favorite evil team. Flapple gonna D-Dance! Bruh. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. Let's go ahead and get rid of Astonish. I think Flapple might be phenomenal. I don't know what his stats are, but he might be phenomenal. Everybody's leveling up. Holy cow. Is Marnie even bad? No, she's not evil. She's just a nice little girl. She's the one with the, the more Pico. She's just a nice little girl going around doing the gym challenge. They're just obsessed with her. It makes no sense, really, but they're here. Why'd you have to be such a bother? That's why I'm guessing the chairman is actually evil, because there has to be something else going on. Her, I like her. Yeah, she's the one with the little Pikachu clone. She's nice. Not an evil person, unless she's secretly evil. Silly Cobra might wake up after all that rockets. And there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We make these bothersome kids holler some other day. <gasps> Flapple, it might be an 11 out of 10 Pokemon. Jerish, you and Flapple were brilliant together. See, Beedee really wiped the floor with me last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a lost battle and some means you gotta lose sometimes. But he said I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud being so rubbish like I was. And I just can't get those words out of me head. If I'm weak, then people think Lee's weak too. I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Jersh. That's kind of sad. <laughs> but not related at all. Hello, silly cobra. Those nostrils. Yo, he just moved. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. It makes literally no sense. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Oh, goodness gracious, it's her. Name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my lead card. I went a little too uh, aggressive with it right off the bat. We pulled it back. <laughs> Your brother is bad at Pokemon, therefore you are too, even though he's 40 years older than you. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Why can't Sonya ever say that to me? <gasps> okay, um... Let me drive my bike back to... That lady is glammed up. She pretty fancy, I gotta say. Is she the next gym leader? Um, maybe she's the next gym leader. Head to Stow on side next. Let me do what I want to do, game. And what I want to do is heal up my poor poisoned boy. My boy is horribly poisoned and needs to be healed as quickly as possible. I kind of want to, hmm, I don't want to miss a thing, 
I don't want... I, I'm worried if, if I train off camera and I do some stuff in the wild area that Sobble is going... Or, uh... Drizzile. I'm worried he's going to evolve and I'm not ready for him to I want him to evolve on camera for you guys on camera on stream. I Know what I had on stone one side. Oh, that's just a loading screen. Oh Not in my Pokemon game a loading screen. Ew. Uh, I don't want Him to evolve off camera, so I'd rather do it while you guys are here So that's what we're gonna try to do. That'll be if we don't make it to the next gym and beat the next gym, which is starting to feel like he might not. Oof, Flapple is not so great for this Clefairy. Man, there's a lot of Pokemon we need. Uh, a lot of Pokemon types we could need, I, I should say. Um, 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 Drizzle, come on out. Because if Drizzle, take him out of the party while you do the wild part, actual genius. Actual genius. That's very smart. Plus, that stops the issue of, I only want to train up a couple Poke Boys. You lucky Thunder Punch. That also fixed the problem of, um, I was worried about getting the other po getting this Pokemon too overleveled. Oh no, the sunlight's harsh. I'm gonna be rubbish, Mach Punch. Okay. Uh, yeah, my water moves are not gonna do very much because the sunlight's harsh. Okay, well, this isn't a great area, I gotta say, for, uh... Yikes, this is not a great area for Drizzile to, to really flex his muscles. Fairy Wind, that's Stab! Okay. As long as you don't get something super strong, we should be fine. Uh, Maria, don't turn the, uh, hockey game on, by the way. Don't do it. Maybe just, uh... Leafage! You lucky. Maybe just wait until the next one. There, I heard there's another really good hockey game on tomorrow that we could watch instead. <laughs> this stinks, though, because when the Blues win, we get half price Papa John's pizza the next day. And it's... Drizzle wants to learn U-turn? Heck yeah! It's starting to look like we're not getting uh, half uh, price pizza tomorrow. Unfortunately. Did they win yesterday? A.K.A. Can I order half price pizza after the stream? All right, Dotler, get in here. <clears throat> what level do I evolve at? I do not know. If anybody would be, I, actually, I can look it up because I've already seen what Sobble's final evolution looks like. So, oh, you're a Clefable. I thought you were not that. Um, start with Struggle Bug. Uh, I'm gonna see what level Drizzile evolves at. How far do we gotta go? How far? 35. Hmm. That's pretty far. That's pretty... Yikes. I mean, we're like extremely underleveled. I kind of feel like maybe... I'll tell you what, let's evolve Dotler. Let's get Dotler to 30. And then I will add the Firebug to the team. And then what might- oh, me, not the Pokemon? I never evolve. I'm stuck in this state forever. I'm like a Tauros. I'm just stuck in- I get no evolutions. What I might do, because it, it feels like we're a little underleveled for this area. So I might do uh, what Maria recommended and go train up in the wild area for a bit in between streams. Um, please stop. Please no. I might train up in the wild area in between streams. Uh, but make sure that I take out my... I'm doing no damage, dude. I don't even think I can... I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this thing. It's kicking my butt. Um, I'll grind up in between, and then I will make sure to not evolve our starter so that we can do that in the next room. I think that makes a lot of sense. I like the idea. Retaliate. I mean, I think I might just die to this thing. That's a cool animation. I don't know how to kill this. I literally have no answer for fairy types. This is all not very effective, so... Guess we're, we're praying for crits. <laughs> we're praying for crits and defense drops. Give me the defense drop. That was a crit. No defense drop, but... Okay, this is, this is a tough cookie. Thankfully... No, not a calm mind. What are you doing trying to kill me? Extremely rude. We did not win yesterday. Alright, well, I guess I'm not eating pizza. 
I guess instead I will make... Ooh, I'm gonna make myself a buffalo chicken wrap. That sounds fantastic. What's Fairy weak to? Poison and Steel. Yes, only Poison and Steel. Fairy is a busted type. I do not like what just came out of the ground. It is only Poison and Steel. Uh, Steel resist it, Poison resist it, Fire resists it, and I think that's it. And then Fairy itself resists, like, everything. It resists Dark, Fighting, uh, Bug... Mm, there's another one it resists, but I can't remember. Oh, wait, the Dragon just doesn't affect it at all? Fairy's a pretty busted type, which means I should probably have some means to address it on my team. Oh, Toxel! Duh, but Toxel... Oh, I should... What level does Toxel evolve at? I might want to be careful with that too, because he might evolve off camera. I want to I want to be careful with him and make sure I don't accidentally. Your Pokemon are way too strong. Let me look it up. Toxel. I don't want to know what he evolves at. When does Toxel evolve? When does Toxel evolve? Yep, Fairy's a muted dragon. Thirty as well. Whoa! It's Yamask, but it's not! Galarian Yamask. Look at that. You're pretty cool. What are you? What are you? You're level 32, first of all, which is sick. Crafty Shield. It's, a pr it's Protect, but fancier? What does it do? No, it didn't protect you. You still took damage. Wandering Spirit. You've taken over my Ripen. You swapped ability. Okay, so it's still just Mummy. Oh, but it swaps abilities instead of... Usually Mummy just gives the other person Mummy. This swaps them. You have... Okay, you're still Ghost type. What type are you? Hopefully Cofagrigus looks nifty. Okay, so here's my theory. I think we're going to have a very hard time capturing this thing. Because... My theory is that if a Pokemon is a higher level than you, its capture rate goes through the roof. So I have a feeling we're going to have a very tough... Yep, I got a feeling we're never going to capture this thing. I don't know why they chose to do that in this game. My only guess would be that since you have access to the wild area... And can... I'm never going to catch this thing. I think since you have access to the wild area and you could theoretically catch a very strong Pokemon... I think they want to give you that option, one. I think they want to give you that option, but they want to make it really hard. So I feel like for the first time ever in this game, or maybe this has been a feature in Games Pass, I feel like they made it, bruh, I feel like they made it so that you, uh, the capture rate on Pokemon that are super, uh, higher level than you are almost impossible to catch. Because remember, earlier in the stream, we couldn't catch that Stunfisk. And the Stunfisk was a higher level than me. And yesterday, we tried to capture that Gossifleur that was level 14. I think we were like 12. And I couldn't capture it. It took me like 30 minutes to capture it. It's a working theory. It's completely anecdotal. But I think that's probably the case. And I can see why they do it. It makes sense to do. Hold on. I know nothing. I'm a genius. I can catch anything I want to. Just kidding. Forget that. Anecdotal evidence. Get it out. Okay. We've captured the Yamask. What are you? Yamask out of the Pokedex. Ground Ghost. Galarian form. A clay slab with a cursed engraving took possession of a Yamask. The slab is set return. The slab is said to be absorbing Yamask's dark power. I'm gonna send it to the box for now. That might make sense to add to our squad. That might. I need to see what Galarian Cofagrigus looks like. But that's an interesting Pokemon. I might add it to the team. I haven't decided yet. Uh, let's uh, get Dollar Level healed up. Sorry. Get Drizzile healed up. We're gonna continue trucking along at this route, even though it's. Little rough. Uh, how many... How many experience candies do I have? Not a ton. I'm gonna use these all on Toxel. Because I wanna, I wanna get Toxel evolved. Got a bad feeling about that. 
Oh, we got like none. Can I buy them? Can I buy experience candies or just this? Toxel leveled up. That's good. I mean, we could go do raids. Helioptile, my boy. Helioptile is one of my favorite Pokemon. Let's see what else we got here. Durant, okay. It's a cool Pokemon. Yeah, that's an interesting typing. I don't think they've done ground ghost before. Oh, of course I couldn't get away. At least off the top of my mind, I can't think of a ground ghost type they've done before. Please get away. Thank you. Off the top of my mind, I can't think of a ground ghost type they've ever done before. But that's still cool. This area is cool too. What is that? Axew! I love Axew. We're not going to capture it. But I love this little guy. He made the cut. That's good. It has a ton of weaknesses, but uh, that's true. So ghost, dark, water, grass, ice. Five weaknesses, but three immunities. Normal, fighting, and electric. Level 33 XU. Okay, so yeah, we're under leveled for this area. That's pretty clear. What are you? What the heck was that thing? Okay, that's a Skorupi, which I don't care too much about. I will actually will use acrobatics on you because we can probably kill you and it'll be some good experience. Sunlight is harsh. Yo, I can't believe this. I mean, I can believe it learns D-Dance because it's a dragon type, but... I don't think Flapple's leaving the team. I think Flapple's here to stay. That's a good boy. That's a good, good boy. I mean, look at him. He's bopping these scorpions that he's three levels under. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I think what we'll do to finish up the day is maybe go do some raids, get some experience candies. Let's see if we can't get both Dotler and Toxel evolved today. Acrobatics is busted. Is that a Diglett? It's a Diglett. Acrobatics, I feel like... Oh, shoot. I feel like Acrobatics has always been busted, though. Wild Dust Skull, okay. It is It is an absurdly good move. Like, you, I guess... I would consider it a very good... Um, casual playthrough move, but not a great competitive move. Because in, in competitive, items are, like, not everything, but really important. Like, items can often... Items are almost just as important as the Pokemon you pick. So, having a move that's that strong with no item can be good if you use an item that is like a one use only, like a like a white herb or something, and then after it gets used up, then acrobatics becomes viable. But in a playthrough, when items aren't as, as important, dude, I freaking love just taking my item off and one-shotting literally everything that touches me. Okay, uh, let's, let's do a little bit of wild area stuff. It's 110 with no item, and it comes with like, what, 15 or 20 PP? That's crazy. That's, that's just, it should be illegal. But it's not, and I'm thankful. Okay, we're gonna put Dollar out front. Dollar is extremely close to leveling up. Let's get this evolution on stream. Maybe, uh... No, don't spend the watts. Yo, you sell some ridiculous TMs. And a wishing piece, apparently. Improve my bike. Yes, charge it up. I don't see any raids. That's a problem for me. Because, uh... This whole plan was to come in here and do some raids? Aha, I see some raids. As well as that Onyx. From the beginning of the game, I chose a horrible path to do this, but we somehow made it through unscathed. Okay, give me a raid. Vanillite's still here. Bunnelby's chillin'. Take me home. Country road to the place I belong. Pain champ! Alright, we got two raids. We're fine. We'll do these two. Get some experience candies. Huh? Get some experience candies. The Dappled Grove. What's going on in the Dappled Grove? A Delibird? A Bunnelby? Other things, I'm sure. Let's see what this Pokemon is. It's a, it's a two-star. Let's try it. We've never done a two-star raid before. We've only ever done one star. What the heck is Psychic Fangs? I think Psychic Fangs is the signature move of... That's a big old bouncer. I think Psychic Fangs is the signature move of that ugly, ugly fish from... Uh, 
7th gen, the Bruxish or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's the signature move of that, but I, I wonder if... I, I used to think only that Pokemon could learn it, but I wonder now if it's just a... It might just be a Psychic-type Bite, which would be cool. Oh joy, I have a Wobbuffet again. Oh, that atrocity? Yeah, the, the Picasso painting as a Pokemon? Exactly. Alright, Dottler. Big Dottler, let's go. Big BDE. Big Dottler energy. Uh, Dottler's gonna evolve after this. I really hope you're not cool. No offense. <laughs> but I really hope you're not cool. Because I really want to add that fire bug to the team. Yo, she went for the Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet, please mirror coat. Please mirror coat. If you can do one thing right in your entire awful life, mere coat. Okay, we're gonna max Flutterby, which is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, bruh. Mere coat, take it out. Please. Wobbuffet? Let me guess, Amnesia? Wobbuffet. I thought Wobbuffet used Flamethrower, and I got excited. Wobbuffet is unneeded. You just looked up the Evo of my Dottler boy? Don't tell me. He's gonna evolve after this. We're gonna catch the Bounce Sweet, because I have not caught one yet. So, might as well. Alright, it's intermission. You have my attention. Hi, Yeti. We're about to evolve our, our uh, bug boy. And at that point, I guess we'll decide if we want to keep him or, or... Or bring in Fiery Boy. I will say if we're going to keep the little hat child on the team, who's a psychic type, then we don't really need... Dottler who's Bug Psychic, because we'll already have a new Psychic type, so, you know, we'll figure it out. Oh, we got some medium XP candies. Okay, okay, I like it. I like the way you work it. Bound Sweet's data will be added to the Pokedex. I like, by the way, that they split uh, rare candies into the different sized experience candies, because it always, I never wanted to use my rare candies early in a game, because it feels like it's always one level. So the amount of experience between like level 5 and 6 is so much less than from like 99 to 100. So I'd always want to save them to the end and I'd end up just never using them. So I like this change. The fruit Pokemon. The grass type. Its body gives off a sweet fruity scent that is extremely appetizing to Bert. This Pokemon gets eaten. Maria Josh did that thing again before where he says something nice about you when you aren't here to hear it. I refuse to let him get away with it. Nope. Didn't happen. Yet he's lying. EXP's cane is a good change, I agree. He's, I did say she did a good job with the Christmas lights. I may have used the word fantastic. I didn't evolve! Do you, do you not gain experience from... Raid battles? Do you not gain experience from raid battles? You don't. Okay. Well, in that case... Uh... Who can I bop real fast? Who can I bop right quick? I saw another raid. I don't really want to kill a Delibird. I don't I don't know that I can kill you, so I'm gonna avoid the beware. You might be able to kill it. How bad could it be? Let's take it on. What's that? Oh, it's a hoodoo. I got excited! Delibird attack! Wild Delibird, no problem. Monkus Bear? Yeah, I'm a little bit terrified of that now. If, you, if you've if you never seen or read, like, the dex entry for... Really, you can't get away from a Delibird half your level. All he does is give presents. Uh, apparently, I can't... I think it's a... Maybe a YouTube video or an article I read. Beware is apparently the deadliest Pokemon in the entire world of Pokemon. Hello. He's apparently his hugs snap your back. Anyway, let's uh let's fight him in in honor of that. Okay, didn't say it's a high level, it's a very strong looking beware, so we can actually probably take this thing on. What level? Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, may have some issues here. He's gonna endure. Okay, uh, that's fine. Don't hug me. So cute. He's cute, but he will break a human spine like a toothpick. Oh my. All right, he got hit by hail. Oh, that was, I didn't like the way he covered his eyes when he got hurt. That made me sad. Watch this, watch. Yikes, we might be dead. He's so strong! I'm alive! 
I thought I died for sure. I just gave up. No, oh, the hail, we're dead. <sighs> well. Big, big, uh, big ouch. Okay, next Pokemon. Surfetched. You wanna come die? You wanna come get absolutely bopped by this thing? Okay, um, let's use a revive. I've had to use a lot of these, good grief. Thank you, Sonya, for keeping me fully stocked. He's a strong boy. Well, we can kill him, I bet. You gonna flail? Good grief! Why is he so strong? Oh, he's much too strong for his own good. Okay, fight, rock smash. He's faster. Okay, we'll see you later then, Sir Fetched. It's been nice. He's too strong. And I can't go back into Dottler, because Dottler will die. I'm just trying to evolve a dang bug here. Flapple. Flapple, I trust you. You're ten levels under, I trust you. Should have just killed some Delibirds? Absolutely. You think it's time to put up Christmas lights? You're wrong! Okay, see ya, Flapple. Good knowing ya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real good. Real fun. This guy's fun. Beware's my favorite Pokemon. Said no one ever. You think Toxel can take him? Doubt it. Hey, Drizzile, come on in. <laughs> this man just one-shots everything I own. All right. Get sucker punched. Watch this. Loser. All right. Take him down. We should still have gained enough experience. Let's go. Driz out of 31. Had 10 out of 25. Had 10 of learning heal pulse. No thanks. Dotler to 30. Let's go. It's evolution time. Dotler with his stash. How big is the... He looks kind of like Dr. Robotnik. How big is the mustache going to get when he evolves? That is the question we must ask ourselves. He, is that even a mustache anymore? What the heck is this? Or beetle. Interesting. He's got like the, he's like a mini necrozma with a ladybug head. He's, he's interesting. I think I like Dottler better. The seven spot Pokemon. Famous for its high level of intelligence and the large size of its brain is proof that it possesses immense psychic power. Yeah, this made my decision a little easier. He's not horrible. He's, he's not horrible. But Dottler is definitely cooler. We're gonna yeet him. We're gonna yeet him, unfortunately. Go ahead and, go ahead and, uh, held item. I'm gonna go ahead and have to take the silver powder, and you know what that means, or beetle. I hate to say it, but, uh... Prepare to be yeeted. Lion Galaxy Brain. He is basically Galaxy Brain, but he's going to be left in the dust for our real champion, Sizzlepeed. Sizzlepeed is bae. I might make room for Yamask. Maybe get rid of Surfetched. Since we've already seen... Like, we are... I don't think Surfetched has an evolution. I think this is his final form. And even though I do love him, or we could do, we could add Impidimp instead of Surfetched. Either Impidimp or Galarian Yamask. I'll think about it. We'll, we'll stick with the current team for now. He's Bug Bag of Mine. He is. I like Impy Boy. I like Impy Boy too. I think Impy Boy is nice. Where are my... Super suit. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on getting Toxel evolved. How many experience points? Three thousand. That's an okay. Use it, Toxel. Let's get you evolved, buddy. Let's get you evolved, buddy. Let's see if you're worth keeping around. So close. So close. You can almost taste it. How do I switch you? One level from greatness. I'm not gonna let you. Unfortunately, fight anybody too scary. Those just turned off, bruh. I was gonna use those. Not a beware. Yeah, I'm thinking we should maybe find someone more Toxel speed, like towards the beginning. You know what? Let's just 
I don't even think he can kill a vanilla ice cream cone. I'm a little nervous. He's just a little baby. He's just a small baby. Rolling fields. Definitely not a pill of swine. Who we got? Who we got? He could probably take on a Bunnelby. A Roselia. I think he could probably take on... <gasps> you thought you could hide the tail slap. But you can't. Because he's the greatest. Look at the bark texture on this log. Oh, was it designed by a three-year-old? <laughs> I need to heal my party, by the way, because everybody died to that beware. So let's go quickly. I heard a cool sound. Okay, yeah, we're going to go fight that Onyx. Just kidding. Please heal my team. Mrs. Flannel. Tail Slap's not bad. It's not too bad. It's not. It's definitely better than like 90% of the TMs that we've gotten up to this point. Uh, Tyra, what are you, you're poison electric, so something that our poison electric boy could dominate. Who can he dominate? I mean, he could probably kill a vanillish. I, I, I trust him that much, I think. Maybe. When do I get surf? I want to swim on the water and fight that big old Gyarados. Tyra, come on, give me something. Give me like a little baby, literally like... Snover, that's what I'm talking about. Snow runs as well. Okay. A wild Snover. We can kill a Snover. Probably. Fingers crossed. Toxel. I love this guy. Please don't ruin him. <laughs> Please. Please don't ore beetle him. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Snover. It's a Yeetus. It is a Ye He gets mad. I don't want him to evolve. What if they ruin him? What if they ruin my boy? He stomps his feet in a toddler rage. Watch this. I did kill him. It's okay though. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill your entire species, Yeti. Watch this. What? Hold on. A lot of a lot of intro to this. Hold on. Wait for it. Hey Toxel, did you uh, did you hear that they cut over 400 Pokemon from the national decks? What the heck? Are you like to put forward Pokemon? We're fine. Take him down. We're gonna level up very quickly. Just kidding. One more. <laughs> One more Yeetus to destroy. And we'll and we'll get it done. The last one, I promise. And we will we will stop the genocide. What Pokeball is he in? He's in a cool ball. Is that a luxury ball? I like him. I like him. Okay. And he's about to either be ruined or made about the same. I don't think you can get much better than this design, so he will either be ruined or worse or about the same. Let's find out. Level 30. What do you got for me? What you got for me? What you got for me? What you got for me, Toxel? He's a little sad baby. He reminds he feels like a ghost out of like Luigi's mansion or something. He's my Wii when I play uh um, uh, what's it? Uh, Mario Maker. Okay. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh! He's kind of cool. I think I like him. He's not cute anymore. That's for sure. He's kind of cool, though. And obviously, Poison Electric is a cool type. Toxtricity. He's got teen angst. Yeah, I wonder if he evolves again. I think I'm, he's kind of yoked. Look at them hands. Those are daddy hands. The Punk Pokemon. Electric Poison. This is your baby. This is your baby when you let him listen to Weezer. Amped Form. There's two forms. When the Pokemon sounds, when this Pokemon sounds as if it's strumming a guitar, it's actually clawing at the protrusions on its chest. He has a guitar chest. What? What? He wants to learn Spark. I'm down with it. I think I'm fine with this Monk S. I don't like the thought of him jibbling his chest too much. And I don't like the word protrusion either. Just call him Scales. If he's got scales on his chest that sounds like a guitar, that's better. When you say he play, he strokes his protrusion, suddenly we have an issue. Okay, let's let's see him in action. 
Yo, maybe not this kind of action, though. That's not exactly the action I was looking for, I gotta say. Play Wonderwall? He... Yo, he stands like he don't give... Two shoots. Uh, I'm gonna die to the Onyx, though, so I gotta get out of here. I kinda like him. He's he's kinda got a lot of randomness on him. Like, a bunch of... Snow Run. Okay, you're dead. He's kinda got a bunch of random, like... Things sticking off of him that I'm sure are supposed to be like punk rock like punk rock bracelets and like a studded belt I'm sure that's what it's supposed to look like. It's a little over design, I guess, but I still think he's cool Yeah, he's cool. I'm in I'm into it. I'm into it. It's a little it suffers slightly from over design I think they could have like the baby was perfect. Let's look at the decks. Let's look. Let's, let's look at it. I think the baby was perfect because it's underdesigned. It's simple. He's got a little lot going on. Like, I think if you just remove... What the heck? Uh, what number is he going to be? Like, way down there, probably. What's his name? Uh, I forgot their names. Toxel. 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 Pro oh, nope. See, he's just super simple. Oh. Two colors. Easy designs, not a lot of added shapes, pretty uniform. I'll even rotate him for you. Can I rotate him? I don't think I can rotate him. He'd be better. I think if you take off the wrist bracelets, the weird belt that stops at his crotch, and his appendages in his this, if he was just purple and yellow guy with this shape and the electric mohawk, I think I'm into him. 5'3", 88.2 pounds. If you remove all of those extra things, I think I like him. I mean, I still like him, but I think he's, like, perfect if you do that. Okay. Well, now the question is, should we keep him on the team? Do you think he evolves again? He seems... He looks like a fully evolved Mon to me. I could see him getting one more, like, super BA form and being, like... Like, m yoked, absolutely massive. That's the word of today's stream, apparently. I could see him being absolutely massive. Would I like to know if he evolves? I kind of would, if you wouldn't mind looking it up. I appreciate it. And then we can decide if we want to keep him or yeet him. He does feel kind of like that angsty middle evolution that would then turn into... some BA, but... He does have... A cool typing that I don't think we would come across very often. Although we... Uh, poison... I don't know if we can get rid of him. Because he might be our answer to fairy types from now on. Poison electric. He might be the go-to answer for fairy types. Unless we can find another decent poison type. We could add wheezing and get galarian wheezing. But... I don't know about that, chief. Let's see. Um... I'm going to do one final raid battle, and then we will uh, yeet off for the night. He does not. Mm, that's a little upsetting. <laughs> that's a little upsetting. What, what did I do? That's a little upsetting, but, um, you know, I'll accept it. Go ahead and find me some trainers, please. I'll accept it. I still think he's cool. I might have him on my final team, I don't know. Oh no, why is DJ Jazzy on my left? What the heck is going on there? P-Dove. Quad weak to ground? He is quad weak to ground. I like, uh, again. Oh god, what the heck? Oh, wishy-washy. I was like, what are we doing here? Wishy-washy's in the game, apparently. I didn't think it could leave the Alola region, but look at it, it did. And, uh, let me guess, that Eevee trainer's got an Eevee. Wait, no, the Eevee trainer's got... I don't know what the Eevee Trainer's got. An Eevee. Okay. Fantastic. Fight. Dynamax. Max Lightning. Can we just, like, one-shot this thing? I kind of feel like we can just one-shot this thing. Maybe I'm crazy. But, yeah. The ground weak to... Quad weak to ground is kind of the drawback, but... Yo, he big boy. Yo, he big boy. <laughs> I do... the Okay, the guitar thing's kind of cool. But also, they look weird, so I don't love it, but... Give me my helping hand. No, not... To, why would you... Extremely rude. Fire Lash. That's cool. Now watch me kill him. Goodbye. I think I like him. 
he it's a it's a design that's that hit me kind of differently than I was expecting. I think because I love the baby version so much that I don't actually know if this thing could have ever lived up to those expectations. So I think maybe over time I'll enjoy it more. And for now, I think I'm gonna keep him on the team, just because we don't have a really good replacement that we found yet. For I mean, we could add Yamper back. Th that would be the question. Would you guys rather we keep this Poison Boy, Poison Electric, or go back to Yamper? Because Yamper is the other electric type we had. So he has a different version with a different nature. Like he has a different. Like if you change his, oh, you can change natures in this game. So if you change his nature, he changes forms. I guess. That's interesting. Oh, I skipped P Duff. Sorry. Would you guys rather us bring Doggo back, or keep Punk Rockin'? Don't want to be an American idiot, boy. I'll leave it up to the, the votes. I'll, I'll we'll look at them so you can choose. We have toxic toxicity. That's hard to say. We have Toxtricity, or we've got Boltund. We got Pupper. We got My Chemical Romance Reunited Tour. Doesn't matter to me. I like them both. I think I like this guy a little better. The Poison type is cool. Um... This design is probably better, but when you add on the poison type, I think I like this. You think Pup is cuter, but that doesn't mean you should put it... Okay, so we're, we're on the same page here. I agree this is a better design, but I think this Pokemon is cooler. And probably better. And also we need a poison type. Okay, so we'll do that. See, Boltund is cleaner, because there's not a bunch of... See, this is what he would be if you remove... If you remove, just take all the light purple and remove it. All of the light purple on him, get rid of it. It would just be two colors with a, like a spot pattern. And that's fine. That's basically what this guy is. He's three colors. He's like a weird greenish gray, a yellow gold, and, and then some weird eyeshadow around his eyes apparently. And then white. Other than that, he's basically just like three or four colors with some basic shapes, not a bunch of extra added on. A cut, like a, he's got like the little bits of fur in the back, but they like exist... To make him look like they exist for a reason. It's a good design. Even this guy's pretty good. Couple colors. Random fur hanging off the back. But like it's a good design. But he kind of sucks. <laughs> this I think is a bad design. But he's kind of good. This guy's probably really good. But I don't love the design. I love this design. I'm a pretty big fan. But I'm a Yamask fan. This is the best design of any Pokemon ever designed. So don't, don't at me please. Great design, not very interesting. Pretty good design, kind of boring. Everybody hates this Meowth, but I kind of like him. <laughs> I think he's kind of cute. I like this guy, but we already have a water type, so we need to add him. Choodle just needs a different face, and I would like him. It's just the face that ruins it. Kind of hate this guy. Not gonna lie, not a fan. Who else we got? This is, design's fine. I just don't like grass types, so... Not going to be on the team, unfortunately. Is that all the new mons? Is that all the new mons? And this one's trash. So, okay. So, I think we'll stick with the current team we have. I'm going to do a bunch of max raid battles in the meantime. Just a bunch of raid battles. Let me save. How do I save? I'm going to do a bunch of raid battles. Get a bunch of experience candy. And I'm going to try to get everybody to level 30 before... Like, nobody should evolve, right? Nobody on this team should evolve. Sizzlepede might... But we've seen his final evolution, so it shouldn't be too big a spoiler to you. So if he evolves before the next stream, I apologize. I don't think you evolve. Ooh, you might. You might. Hatena. What level does Hatena evolve? Th this feels like a three-stage mon. 32. Okay, well, that's fine then. We're not going to get to 32, so we're totally fine. Yo, you, there's no way if you evolve at 32, you're a two-stage. I'm not going to look. That's spoilers. It might be a two-stage mon if it only evolves at 32. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I had a good time. Uh, I am going to go eat dinner. And also, like I said, do a whole bunch of these raids. So, I will see you tomorrow's football Sunday, so probably not tomorrow. 
But uh, sometime in the near future, you will absolutely see me play in this game again. Although, it's tough because the sooner we stream again, the sooner we can finish more gyms and the sooner I can play this game more. I guess I can just chill around in the wild area for two days. I would say maybe Monday. We might stream on Monday. We definitely will stream on Tuesday. Because Tuesday is the normal stream day. We're going to be playing this game for a bit. Chargers game is Monday, so don't bother tomorrow. No interesting... Excuse me? My boys are coming back to lose another game in a row. So I can cry some more. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, not BRB. Ending soon. It's fine. Didn't want to... Maria, as soon as I finish the game, we can hang out. That's the glory of it. You should be pushing for me... To stream more. <laughs> it's Zelda time. But are you actually going to play Zelda this time is the ultimate question. Are you actually going to play Zelda? Or am I going to bring it out there for nothing? There's a thunderstorm somewhere in the wild area. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for hanging out for such a long time. I promise our streams will go back to sh being shorter in the future. But in the meantime, I'm having way too much fun with this game to only stream for like an hour at a time. So, apologize. But appreciate the, uh, the commitment nonetheless. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you uh, probably Tuesday. Maybe Monday. Probably probably Tuesday. 